Hey, how's it going everybody? So this video is gonna cover how you can add the Mines token to your MetaMask wallet. And this video assumes that you've already established a Mines.com account and set up your MetaMask wallet. So if you have not already performed these steps, please do so and then return to this video after. You can check out the link in the comments in order to do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is open up your MetaMask wallet and you're gonna click on the three bars on the left hand upper side. And when you do that, it's gonna open up a new window where it shows different cryptos. and in my case, I have a Ethereum icon, but we're gonna be adding the token for mine specifically. So we're gonna click add token at the bottom. Once you've done that, there's gonna be an add tokens tab and you're gonna click the custom token section in order to add in the mines token. And as you can see on the custom token tab, below it is a token contract address. Now in order to get this address, you would have to go to a website like Etherscan where you can find what the contract address is. And as you can see here, I have brought up the mines token information and have pointed out what the contract address is. I've also put this contract address into the information bar just below this video so you can conveniently copy it as well. So once you've copied that address, then you're gonna take that address and add it into, that is paste it into the token contract address field. And the token symbol and decimals of precision will fill in automatically. You can then click next and you'll see it says, would you like to add these tokens? And it shows the mines token. There's a balance of zero mines because in my case, I don't have any tokens in there right now because this is just for demonstration purposes. You'll then click add tokens if you have tokens from mines.com in the on-chain address while you're signed into mines. So when you click add tokens, it'll show your mines account and how many tokens you have. Of course, if you don't have anything in there currently, it will show nothing. But if you do have something, it will populate and show what you have in your wallet. I hope this was helpful as there's not much documentation on mines, unfortunately, and it can be very hard to find more information. If you do like this video, please subscribe, like, and comment below, and I'll make more videos about mines and how to use and implement the features of mines and mines tokens. Take care, everybody.